When you hear the phrase UX flows, you're likely to think, ah, oh, that's something in designers. I'm a founder or manager. I have lots of things to do. Why should I care? The answer is because UX flows are the thing that might determine whether your product succeeds or not. Hi there, I'm Ilya, the founder of Elekin, a product design agency for SaaS. We work with complex B2B SaaS products, so making sure the UX flows are easy and straightforward is one of the main challenges our designers face. Today we'll be talking about UX flows in their place in the product design process. Let's dive in. You might have a brilliant idea that is supposed to solve your user's pain points, but no one will navigate your app with Google Maps and Compass. Your idea doesn't matter when execution is lacking. So a basic understanding of UX flows will help you not only speak your designer's language, but also see whether you are moving into the right direction, both from design and business points of view. What is user flow? The easier it is for the client to move along their path when completing a task, the more pleasant it is for them to interact with your product. And that means that you are more likely to provide a great user experience and get them to buy or subscribe. So UX flow is a diagram that shows the path a user goes through when using your product from the start point to the final interaction. You can have many user flows as a part of a single project, and there are a lot of different objectives for person who uses your product. Some can be rather complex, for example, becoming a subscriber, while others can be directed into one specific task, watching a video. Let's look at the example of UX flow to add the visuals to the theory. This is a diagram showing a sign-up process with the algorithm of different actions depending on whether the user already had an account or not and whether they remember their password. This representation of the sign-on process allows designers to assess the product's ease of use and if needed, optimize the user experience. So when we talk about the benefits of the using UX flows, the main one is helping to improve user experience. But it's not the only one. UX flows also help with visualizing the product and improving communication. With UX flows, you may quickly illustrate the all the user tasks without any specific tools. This way of visualization is clear for everyone as it looks like blocks and arrows. So you can smooth the communication inside the team or the visuals to present the product to the investors. Another benefit is learning your audience. Users interact with the product to complete a certain task add a lead, analyze the data, or automate a process if we are talking about SaaS. Creating the user experience process flow from the user standpoint lets you focus on the user tasks, considering their true goals and experience. User flows in the UX design help us to keep in mind that we solve real problems of real people. Moreover, using them can help eliminate malfunctions. Most issues when developing a product happen when the user cannot successfully reach their goal. A well thought out UX flow helps identify and eliminate eliminate bottlenecks, pain points, and steps that may confuse clients and cause problems on their way to completing a task. If you need more info on the common UX mistakes to avoid, check out our video. As you can see, there are a lot of things UX flow can help you with, and some of them are quite different. So when in the design process do you use UX flows? The honest answer is whenever you need them. But we can narrow it down a bit using our workflow as an example. At Telekin, we built user flows as a part of our UX strategy stage at the UIX design process. It helps us to align the product vision with the user needs. So we create UX flows after we've done the research about the market, competitors, and target audience. When you have information about your users, UX flows helps you determine the number and order of screens that the product should contain. But remember that design is not a linear process. You can go back to the user flows at any point, revise and improve them to provide the best possible user experience for the clients. Now that we've got a broad idea, let's get into a bit more detail and talk about types of UX flows. Some are simple and look like labels, and some are based on wireframes and text. A flowchart is a diagram representing the order of step the user takes to perform a process when interacting with the product. They may represent the whole experience or just a piece of it. That's what it might look like. Like. Task will represent the user's action when they complete a specific task. Usually, they illustrate only one pass without multiple ways. Task flows are used in UX design when you think all clients will take the same sequence of steps. Here's an example. The distinctive feature of a task flow is that it's often small and linear. They do not illustrate the difficulties that user may face. For example, this image doesn't show what will happen if no result is found. Next, a wire flow is a combination of a wireframe and a 
user flow. Instead of blocks with information, we see the visualizations of screens customers interact with on their way to completing the goal. It looks a bit more complex and is closer to how the final app might look like. Because of the small screen size, wire flows are especially useful for developing mobile apps. Then there is a screen flow. They feature high fidelity screens that are actually page layouts of the finished application. They are highly detailed and represent a future product's real size and look. It allows both clients and team members to feel the size and complexity of the website or app. Here's an example of a screen flow designed by Alekin for Findo, a mobile transfer system. And finally, we should mention sitemap. The sitemap shows the hierarchy of website structure. Sitemaps help designers to organize and prioritize the content and functionality of the product. Take a look at the sitemap we created for a boat. We wanted to understand better what the boat website lacked in terms of user experience. Our goal was also not to overload users with too much technical info that could distract them from their main goal. To visualize the structure in a clear way, we created the following sitemap. To sum up, a UX flow is an easy way to present the whole process of interaction with the app. It can help to shape the strategy and create an intuitive information architecture. That's when it's vital that both your designer and yourself are speaking the same language. And if everything is done right, UX flow increases the chances that customers will actually move on to the paid subscription. You don't need to be an expert in everything, but a basic understanding of the design principles will really help you to build a strong team and oversee your product's creation. For more information on how to design your SaaS, you can check our video or just browse the channel if you're not regular yet. We have a lot of really useful stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was useful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next one.